What's up guys, Frizzy here. Today I'm going to tackle an interesting topic in Azure Lane, and that is the effectiveness of the reload stats. This is actually one of the biggest beginner's trap, and in this video I'll break down every aspect about the reload stats. I'll provide some examples and do some math. Hopefully by the end of the video, you'll have a better understanding of it. First, we have to understand exactly how reload stats work. Reload stats affects the cooldown of all your weapons, and here is the exact formula. Looking at the formula, we can find a few interesting things. If the reload stats is lower than 100, that means you'll get a number greater than 1 at the right side of the formula. So ships with less than 100 reload will actually increase the equipment's base cooldown. Currently only a few submarines have less than 100 reload at max level, also note that knowing the formula is not important at all. When you equip something on a ship, the cooldown shown in game is already calculated with the reload stats. So just how much does reload affect the cooldown? The answer is, well, not a lot. To give you an idea, to decrease the cooldown by half, a ship will need 700 reload stats. Currently only one ship in the game is capable of reaching 700 reload. Now I'll pause a bit and let you guess which ship can reach 700 reload. And the answer is Laffy with both her skills propped. You will need more than 200% bonus reload to half your weapon's cooldown. So for all those small reload buffs like reload command, they aren't very effective at all. Now let's look at an example. Takao here at level 120 love has 175 reload. We'll use this gold gun here, which has a base cooldown of 7.65 seconds. Here is under the most ideal situation, the theoretical number of shots fired during an average 90 second fight. Keep in mind, these numbers are purely theoretical and does not count the firing time and idle time in real battle. So in actual combat, the number can only be worse. So under ideal situation, with both autoloader and reload command, Takao only fires 2 more times over the 90 second period. If we take the firing time and idle time into consideration, you'll be lucky to fire one more. Well, what about the torpedo? Is it any better with reload bonuses? The best gold torpedo has base cooldown of 25.47 seconds. Apply the same reload to it and we can see the reload bonus does absolutely nothing. It will fire 4 times during the 90 second time frame with or without the reload bonus. The only difference is to fire a bit earlier with the extra reload. From the above, we can conclude that reload bonus will be more effective on shorter cooldown weapons. On long cooldown weapon like battleship guns and torpedo, it is very ineffective unless the bonus is extremely high. In most cases, bonus reload does not actually increase your damage output, it just makes you fire a bit earlier. Firing one second earlier in PvE is pointless, but in PvP it can be the deciding factor. For example, Nagato's reload bonus will help your IJN ships fire a bit earlier than your opponent's. This could be the difference between you wipe out the enemy first, or both sides dying at the same time. In the last part of this video, I want to talk about the autoloaders. I got so many questions asking why not use autoloaders on whatever ship, and I facepalm every single time. In practice, autoloader just doesn't do anything in most situations. 35 extra reload is such a small bonus, it is insignificant in most battles. Hitting more shots with accuracy gear is just better than firing potentially one more shot. Here I compiled a list of gears you would use over autoloaders on every ship type. The conclusion is autoloader just isn't good for anything. The only time it is good is when you have nothing else to use it at least gives you some more firepower stats. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you learned something useful. 
I plan to do more voice videos like this covering interesting topics in the Zor lane. What do you think of this format? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.